the real mirror tool creates real, separate objects from mirror modifiers. There are two main use cases for this. First, if you use object space texturing, the mapping on mirrored parts will likely not be what you'd expect, especially when your objects are rotated. That's because the mirror geometry is part of the original mesh, and doesn't have its own origin and orientation. The bump map seen here, does not rely on UVs, but is box mapped in object space. As a result, the mapping on the mirrored part, is not aligned as it should be. Running the real mirror tool, will create a real object, properly aligned and oriented in place of the mirror modifier's result. The real mirror part now has its own origin, and the object space mapping works as it should. By default, the tool creates a group for the mirrored objects. This is helpful, if you want to go back and delete the real mirrored parts. The original source still has its mirror modifier, it's just disabled. It works on decals just as well. You can see how the shading on the mirrored side is too dark here. That's because there's a data transfer mod on it, but the source object supplying normals does no longer extend to the other side, having been replaced with another object through the previous real mirror operation. That's why the real mirror tool will by default apply all data transfer mods before it mirrors a duplicate of the mirror source. So, the transferred, custom normals on the original decal, will be properly mirrored by the real mirror tool. And that's also the second main use case of real mirror. In this test scene, all the cubes have custom normals. You can see how the mirror modifier, doesn't mirror the normals. but real mirror does. Real mirror can also deal with multiple axes and even multiple mirror modifiers. Finally, mirroring of custom normals is also very useful on plug subsets. Perfect. 